The ancient book of Enoch is a book that was quite popular during the first 700 years of church history, but then faded from sight. Nobody republished. The Book of Enoch The Book of Enoch is also called the Ethiopic Book of Enoch's pseudepigraphical work. It is an Old Testament book containing events written long before Jesus was born. The original manuscript of this ancient book disappeared at the end of the 4th century. Later on in 1773, it was rediscovered in Ethiopia. However, the Christian sect in Abyssinia, Ethiopia, have included this book in their scriptures as a reference for their practice. The obsession of heretical Christian groups such as the Manichaeans with a blend of Iranian, Greek, Chaldean, and Egyptian elements also aided the survival of this book. Several clerical scholars have disposed of this book claiming it contains revelations God did not divinely inspire. The ancient book of Enoch was forbidden from the Bible for unveiling profound truths about the world's creation. This book records a list of sensual fallen angels, violent giants, strange cosmological facts, and other mystical revelations yet to be confirmed by Bible scholars. It is believed that the story of Enoch reflects many features of Babylonian mythology. This book by Enoch has also been confirmed to be a compilation of works that are mostly apocalyptical. Who is or was Enoch? Enoch is a biblical figure and the patriarch who preceded the pre-Diluvian or pre-flood period of Noah's Ark and the Great Flood. He was the great, great, great grandson of Adam, the father of Jared and the grandfather of Methuselah, the person who lived the longest in the Bible. The text in Genesis chapter 5 verses 21 to 24 reads that Enoch walked with God and was no more, for God took him. This text was later interpreted by Bible scholars who believed Enoch entered heaven alive. According to the record, he was about 365 years old when God took him, as written in Genesis chapter 5 verses 22 to 24. Only he... God took Enoch and Elijah without experiencing death in the Bible. He worked in faith and righteousness throughout his life and obeyed God's word to the latter. God was amazed by his work of faith and righteousness that he spared him the pain of death. Enoch is a subject and pillar of many Jewish and Christian traditions. He was the author of the book of Enoch and was also considered the scribe of judgment. Enoch was referenced in the Old Testament in the book of Genesis and the New Testament in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verses 37. Apostle Paul's epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 5, and Jude, chapter 1, verses 14. Amongst the Catholic Church, the Eastern Orthodox and the Oriental Orthodox, he was revered as a saint, a personality all Christians should look up to. Some Muslims compare Enoch with Prophet Idris in the Quran. The ministerial journey of Enoch was a forerunner to Noah's mission as a preacher of righteousness and builder of the ark. The Dead Sea Scrolls This book written by Enoch was rediscovered at the Judean cave in 1946 to 1947 by some Bedouin boys caring for their sheep. 
close to the cave. One of the young boys threw a rock into a cliff opening and was surprised to hear a breaking sound. Out of curiosity, he and his friends entered the cave and found several big clay jars, seven of which had leather and papyrus scrolls inside. The Judean cave is near the ancient settlement of Qumran, located on the northwest coast of the Dead Sea. It is currently known as the West Bank. The scrolls were repurchased by antiquity merchants and scholars who found the text over 2,000 years old. Many other scroll fragments were also discovered in adjoining caverns. A summation of these other scrolls adds up to 800-900 texts. This Book of Enoch is further divided into five other, the Book of Watchers, the Book of Parables, the Astronomical Book, the Dream Visions, and the Epistles of Enoch. These books have a total of 100 chapters. The Book of Enoch is a series of important stories. One part discusses angels, a special tree, Jerusalem, and the universe. But the most interesting part is about fallen angels who did intimate things with human women, and they had giant children called Nephilim. These angels also taught humans advanced stuff, leading to a big flood and destruction. Nephilim means fallen ones. People see them as big guys, like giants. This idea comes from the first book of Enoch, a special Jewish book. But there's a debate. Some think their size is because they're supernatural, while others say it's not right to think angels or demons can have babies with humans. Another idea is that the Nephilim were just regular people who went off the good path. Some say the sons of God were from Seth, a good guy from Adam's family, and the Nephilim were his family who turned away from God. So the Book of Enoch makes us think about angels, giants, and humans in a really interesting way. Enoch's Mysteries there are hidden mysteries found in the Book of Enoch that sound vague and untrue to the human race. These irregularities, unconfirmed mythical mysteries and secrets that are related to divinity, have made Bible scholars of old throw out the Book of Enoch, making it unfit for Christians and humans generally to read. Is the knowledge true or false? Are they truly sacred for human consumption? What hidden truths does it reveal that would challenge the human understanding of divinity? The Apocrypha Book of Enoch contains a series of mysteries which include the origin of demons and Nephilim, the mystery of Genesis, chapter 6, verses 1 to 5. The reason behind the great flood in the book of Genesis, the laws that govern the sun, moon, and stars, and the wind, the revolt of angels against goddess, the reason why some angels fell from heaven, the mystery behind the archangel Uriel, the secrets of creation, the thousand-year reign of the Messiah, and many other mythical mysteries. The Angelic Watchers The Book of Enoch contains a record of 200 angelic watchers who came down to earth and turned wicked. The names of some of the angels and their leaders were also mentioned in this book. Notable of these names mentioned were Shemihaza, Asael, Rommel, Artakov, Matarel, Ananel, and Nephilim, the angel who fathered the angel. Human hybrids. These listed angels were known as the Bad Watchers in the Book of Enoch. They were called the Bad Watchers because after they fell from heaven, they came to earth to carry out acts of wickedness against humans polluting the mindset of both men and women and having sexual intimacies with women and men alike. Other angelic watchers also came to earth and married human women, starting an unnatural union with them. Due to this union, they started teaching humans forbidden knowledge and practices alien to the human mind. Some taught humans the art of war and making weapons. Some taught humans the signs of the earth. Some taught astrology. Some taught the study of clouds, and mankind taught the courses of the moon. Yakan, for example, was one of the bad watchers in the Book of Enoch, who masterminded and tempted the other watchers into having sexual relations with humans. His fellow henchmen were Asbiel, Gadriel, Penamui, and Kazdeh. 
They were all identified as individual Satan Shi and watchers of iniquity. The Secret of Creation The story of creation is believed to have been revealed to Enoch face to face. Before creation, the foundation for all created things was laid, and afterwards he brought everything out of nothing and deep darkness. He created a throne for himself and made the heavens and the earth. The Lord created a throne for himself. He hardened the big stone from the waters to become a solid structure above the waters. The Lord created the armies of the intangible ones from the fire and the reptiles, birds, fish, animals, and vegetation, until finally he created man. This can be seen in chapters 28 to 29. When God instructed Enoch about the secrets of creation, the Lord also told Enoch as seen in chapters 24 to 26. In chapter 41 verses 1 to 3, Enoch tells his experience about creation saying, These revelations in the book of Enoch about the secret of creation are yet to be confirmed by Bible scholars. Also, it was not accepted by many early church fathers to be accurate. The Epistles of Enoch The concluding portion of the book of Enoch, which comprises chapters 91 to 108, is known as the Epistle of Enoch. Although the epistles in the New Testaments of the Holy Bible are known to be letters by Paul the Apostle, the epistles in the book of Enoch were not regarded as letters. Rather, they imply Enoch's last words to his son Methuselah. The main part of the epistle of Enoch talks about his vision of being taken up by God. He counseled his children and family on the need to work in uprightness, righteousness, and faith. Here he spoke about the great flood to come that later happened in the days of Noah. He spoke on the judgment of the wicked in the flood and the final judgment which emphasized the resurrection of the dead, as can be seen in chapters 90, 113, 14. In the epistle of Enoch, there are six listed oracles against the sinners, the witness of the whole creation against them, and the assurance of fate after death. The epistle is composed of two layers, a proto-epistle with a theology near the deterministic doctrine of the Qumran group, and a slightly later part of chapters 94, 4, and 104, verses 6, that points out the personal responsibility of individuals, often describing the sinners as the wealthy and the just as the oppressed, a theme also found in the Book of Parables. The birth of Noah is a part that appears in Qumran fragments separated from the previous text by a blank line, thus appearing to be an appendix. It tells of the deluge and Noah, who is born already with the appearance of an angel. The concluding appendix of the Book of Enoch was not found in Qumran and is considered to be the work of the final editor. It highlighted the generation of light in opposition to the sinners destined for darkness. Why was the book hidden? Many early church fathers, such as Clement of Alexandria, Tertullian, Irenaeus, and Athenagoras, who wrote around 200 AD, claimed that the book of Enoch was rejected because it contained prophecies about Jesus that could not be duly confirmed. It was excluded from the formal canons of the Tanakh, the Septuagint, and the Deuterocanon. The major reason for the rejection of the Book of Enoch by the Jews was that it contained inconsistent teachings of the Torah, which is the compilation of the first five books of the Hebrew Bible, namely Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy the Torah, by definition, simply means the laws and teachings of Judaism. The Book of Enoch was widely known in the 4th century AD by early Christians until the church authorities banned it and it virtually disappeared. Due to its irregular teachings and doctrines, it was excluded from the biblical canon. Let us know what your thoughts are on this topic in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos.